Hey Mitchell, can you pass me that plot convenient soda over there? Sure. Here you go. That's a Gatorade. Your hand. My hand? Your other hand. My hand? What's happened to your hand? Oh, like you don't know. I, I really don't. You had a sleep terror. What? Ooh. KSSO, Mitchell. Sleep terrors are episodes of screaming, intense fear, and flailing while still asleep. Also known as night terrors, sleep terrors are often paired with sleepwalking. Like sleepwalking, sleep terrors are considered a parasomnia, an undesired occurrence during sleep. Although sleep terrors are more common in children, they can also affect adults. A sleep terror usually lasts from seconds to a few minutes, but they may last longer. Facts provided courtesy of myoclinic.org. I'm not quite sure I follow. Then let me tell you the tale of how I lost my hand! the Ottoman Empire conquered the Middle East. Oh no! I have an incurable disease that will haunt my asleep for the rest of my life! Ah, but never fear, for there is a way. Huh? Hark, what's that sound? What? Oh! It's a me, a Dr. Mario. What? Where am I? Why am I a robot? Doesn't matter. I'm here to diagnose your sleep terror disorders. Ah, uh, please do tell. Sleep terror disorder is a mental disorder of currently unknown origin, more common in children than adults. It causes the afflicted to feel an extreme sense of fear without ever awakening from their sleep. Symptoms of this fear include rapid heartbeat, sweating, and hyperventilation. This fear will also cause the afflicted to scream and move around in their state of unconsciousness. Sleep terror is different from nightmares in this way, as a nightmare will not cause a person to scream or move excessively, and they will awaken with full memory of the nightmare after it is over. A person does not wake up even after their sleep terror is finished and lacks recollection of the dream or the physical actions that occurred during it. The only thing they're able to recall, if any, is a sense of extreme fear. Thanks for providing courtesy of MindDisorder.com. Yahoo! Oh man, please tell me there's some good news with all this. Well, you know how the saying goes, all the toasters, toast the toast. That doesn't even apply to the situation. Sleep terror disorder isn't a life-threatening disease on its own, and it's not very serious if the episodes are infrequent. Even so, I can still prescribe some treatment medication. The most common medication is a sleep-inducing drug called diazepam, more commonly known by the brand name Valium. Oh, wow. Will it really help me with my sleep terrors? Ooh, debatably. Now, I take a two of these and call me back a never. Gee, thanks, Doc. I'm really feeling it! But, um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> what? I was asleeping again! Looks like it was just a normal nap this time. It's a good thing I took these pills that I got in my dream. Oh. Oh no! Oh!